This is the Iron Trader, and it is hump day, which means it is crude day. Now, yesterday, the API numbers came out, and we had a, a draw on crude at 4.4 million. Gasoline had a draw of 1.6 million. This list had a draw of 0.6 million, and Cushing had a draw of 1 million. So that's pretty bullish here, you know, on the crude. Now, the EIA report will be out today at uh, 1030, so we'll have to see if that confirms. So as usual, we are going to review crude oil here and natural gas. This video is for information purposes only. Not a recommendation to buy, sell these stock, mount the ETF. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, here we have crude oil, your daily and your weekly chart. Now, let's just start off here on the old daily, okay? So you can see what's going on here. Now, I've been pointing out here, been watching the videos here, this key 21 SMA here, all right? So you can see where this big red candle, the green candle here, went right up into it. And then we had the red candle, went into it, yesterday's candle into it. And today so far, you made a higher high, but right now, so far, you know, again, days early, it just has, hasn't got over. Now, when you look at this pattern here, this is basically a bull flag uh, situation here. Now, but a key is it has to get close above this key 87.76, okay? So if it does, then we just follow these candles right on up here, okay? So you want to look at this candle here. You're looking at um, 83, uh, uh, 30, 88.33. Then we look at today's high, 88.57 here. And then we just work our way on up here, okay? So you got uh, uh, 89.59 uh, uh, here. You have uh, 90.27. Um, we have uh, 91.88. And then you always want to go to the left of the chart here because this is where the breakout candle was. That's 92.43. And then we come here. You have uh, 94.17. And then your big retest here at uh, uh, 95.03. Now, it's all going to be based on if you can close above this 21 SMA here. Now, look at this 8 SMA here. See how nicely it's curling right back up here and it's holding the uh, um, the price very, very nicely here. Now the eight day is back above the 50 day, headed towards the 21 day here. So you could really have a nice push up here with the bull flag here, but it's all gonna depend on what's gonna go on here with this uh, uh, 21 SMA. <clears throat> okay, so now let's take a look at the downside. Okay, so you wanna watch that eight SMA. So you're sitting at 86.13, that's gonna provide very good support. Then you have your 50 day here. You're looking at 85.69 here. That is going to be very good support. Now, again, if that 50 day is lost, then we again, we just follow the candles down here, okay? So you want to look to the bottom of this candle here. That's 84.67 uh, uh, here. Then we come to this candle here. You're looking at 83.35. We have uh, 83.11. You have 82.31. Uh, and then your big retest here is 81.50. That is going to be very, very key here in your middle of your trading rate. So if that's lost here, then we come over here to this 21 day, you got uh, 8049 uh, right there. Then we come here to the 100 day, you got 7984. And then back to this 50 day, you got uh, 7830. And then your big boy down here, your 200 day is sitting at 7786. Uh, but this is all on a basis that 8150 is lost, okay? Right now, just understand here that we have a, there's a uh, oil premium here due to the war going on in the Middle East here, okay? <clears throat> so you got a good, you know, 5 to $10 here. If they can get this settled, talk this out, or whatever, who knows, um, then this price could come down very, very dramatically. So when you look on a weekly chart here, let me just big this up here. Okay, as I was talking about this bull flag here, actually on the weekly here, you have a bear flag going on here. Okay, now that being said, if it could break up and close above here, well, that would negate the pattern on this candle here. And if it closes up here, that would negate that bear flag pattern. And this bull flag here would, would play right on out. And it would be just the opposite. Okay, if this you start losing this and this starts selling off here, then that bear flag would play out here. So you gotta be very, very careful. Always watch your daily, your weekly, and even your monthly chart for, for a longer term uh you know play okay so again just a quick review here watch this key 21 day here this is that 87 uh 75 watch this eight day 
Uh, that's going to be very, very critical, 86.12 here, and then watch your 50-day at 85.69. So you got a good, good trading range here. Uh, so it should be, for me, I, it's very an easy trade here. You go, if it breaks above here, it goes higher. If it breaks below here, she goes lower. Just as simple as that. All right, let's take a look here at the old natural gas. Okay, natural gas here. Well, let's just take a look here on the weekly here first. Okay, so the price right now here on the old natural gas is sitting at uh, 3.09. So this was a big support level, now it's resistant level, okay? So you wanna watch that 3.158. That's gonna be very, very critical on the upside. Now your eight day is still very uh, above your 21 day. That's gonna be support at 290, and then your 21 day right below it at 270, that's support. But your eight days above there, that's still very, very bullish here. And uh, just watch that key uh, 50 SMA here. That's going to be very, very critical. Now, here on your uh, daily chart here, let me just big that up a little bit here. Easier to see. All right. Yesterday, we had a nice low here. It came down at 3.02. Where was this level here? Okay, 3.02. All right. So very, very simple here. Okay. So when, when you just look at here, all you got to do is just go back to these candles right here. And there's your support levels, okay? So what you want to do is you want to keep trading simple, okay? That's why you just use your basic, your 8, your 21, your 50, your 100, your 200. Eight. Those are your key support levels. Put these price channels in here on your chart. See how easy it is to read that, okay? And then I just use candlesticks, your highs, your lows, and your closing numbers, okay? Now, there's many ways to trade, you know, many ways. You can use Fibonacci. You can use clouds. I always found out the simpler you keep it, the more money that you make. All right, so let's just see where we stand here now. <clears throat> okay, so right now we have an inside day. So what you always want to do is watch the previous day's candle, your high and low. So let's take a look at the downside first. So you want to look at this 3.02, and then right below it here is you have 3.01, that's your 21 SMA here. Now, again, if that's lost, then we just follow these candles down, okay? So you got 2.96 here, you have... Uh, 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 2.93 and then what we do is we come down to this candle here this is 2.82 uh, that's your gap you always want to keep a, your eye on the gap and then the top of this candle here is 2.66 that's your fill now we do have the 50 day here and 100 day and everything in between but always watch some gaps and fills because a lot of times they'll slam all the way down fill that gap and then end up higher okay so we have to see but again it doesn't mean anything unless you lose this 21 SMA now, let's look at the upside. So, we want to look at yesterday's high. Okay, so you're looking at uh, uh, 3.13. Then we want to look at this 50-day at 3.15. And then we come up to this candle here, which is 3.18. Now, that's your gap. And then look to the bottom of this candle here. That's 3.20. There's your fill. And then you have your 8-day at 3.25, okay? And again, if you can get above that, then we just follow these candles all the way up here until you get your retest here. But one level at a time, that's easiest. Never look at too far to this is, oh, it's going here, it's going here. I have no idea where it's going. That's why we trade the charts, okay? So again, just quick review. Watch this key 21 SMA here. Watch the top of yesterday's candle, this gap, this fill, and then that eight SMA. All right, I'll have more for you here uh, later today. After the pick close here on the crude oil and natural gas. And remember, the EIA report will be out today at 10.30. Thanks for watching.